Good morning, Funkies. Today is Wednesday. We are halfway through our kindergarten week and what's gonna be different when we get to kindergarten. Um, today my shirt actually says read, books are brain food. Um, so it's a little hint about what we're gonna talk about today that is different in elementary school than in Child Family Center. Who remembers what my very favorite thing is in school? What's my favorite thing to do? Read, right? I love to read. We love books. Mrs. Peterson and I have more books than any people could possibly imagine. Um, and that's where your books come from at our school. They come from us or they come from the master teachers on um, library. We always walk by and, and borrow some. Um, so those are where your books come from. But in the big school, you have something totally different. You have a library. It's awesome. You go to the library and the librarian helps you pick books. And there are books all over the place. There's shelves and shelves and shelves of books. It's amazing. So that is something to really look forward to when you go to elementary school. You can pick out any book you want and take it home and read it or take it back to your classroom and read it. Oh, it's so exciting. And that is a special. So that means that you go to the library and they help you choose books and they talk to you about different things that have to do with books. And you have that as a class. So your regular classroom teacher, just like she'll drop you off at, or he will drop you off at the gym. Sometimes, sometimes they'll also drop you off at the library. I love it. It's so exciting. So let's go through the morning meeting and then we'll talk about the other things that you can find. Sometimes they're called the media center. So um, we'll talk about other things you can find at the media center. Good morning, ready readers. So since we are talking about the library and we are talking about books and reading and you guys are so close to reading so well, I can't wait to see what great readers you become in kindergarten. Um, but because of that, we're gonna talk about the library. So I called you ready readers because you are definitely ready to read if you haven't started reading already. Today is Wednesday. Today, we are going to talk about another fun spot in the elementary school, the library. I love a good library. I love that you know that we have the Millville Library that you can go to, you can get a library card and you can go and check out books there so if any adult is um taking care of you over the summer you can ask them to take you to the millville library and for free you can get a library card and you can take different books out to read and you guys love to read all kinds of different books so you should um take advantage of that that's really exciting but when you get to elementary school you will have a library at school you will go to school and there will be a library there right um, sometimes they're called the media center because there's not just books there. It's not just full of library books. There's also, um, there are different videos that you can take out. There are different, um, magazines. Oh, magazines are a really fun and exciting way to read short things quickly. So, um, there are lots of magazines you can take out in the media center and the librarian or the media specialist will help you um, decide what you wanna do when you're in the, the library or the media center. So take advantage of that. It's a really cool place. I happen to love libraries more than you could possibly imagine. In fact, sometimes when I'm on vacation, I will ask my husband if he's doing something I don't wanna do, like if he's gonna go golfing and I don't wanna do that, then I'll say, drop me off. Let's see if we can find a local library and I'll go and I'll read for a while while you're golfing. Yeah, I love libraries. Um, tonight, I'm gonna read you. So last night I read you the gym teacher from the Black Lagoon and that was kind of funny, right? Cause it wasn't, it, they, or they were very nervous about meeting their gym teacher and their gym teachers were wonderful. And the gym teachers that you are going to have are going to be wonderful. I don't know all of their names. So that's why I didn't, I only know like, Mrs. O'Neill and Mrs. Panicelli. So I didn't want to name everybody. I know Mr. Herring because he's on the Millville Public Schools page all the time for Workout Wednesday. So if you are going to go to Mount Pleasant, then go to the Millville website, the Millville Public Schools page because you can see Mr. Herring because he's on there all the time. 
Um, but I didn't know all the gym teachers names, so I didn't want to name everybody. Same thing. I don't know all of the librarians names. I only know, um, a couple. So I didn't, I didn't want to name everybody because I didn't want to leave a bunch of people out. But you, whatever elementary school you're going to go to, have your parents go to the site, go to the actual page, and they have a staff list. So you can find out who your librarian is going to be or who your gym teacher is going to be. I only know Rick Avenue, so I didn't think that Mrs. Bonato was the librarian at Rick Avenue. And um, we had some good adventures together, Mrs. Bonato and I, so she... Um, she will, she'll be lots of fun. I think only one of you is going to Rick Avenue though. So that's the only one I can help. Uh, but tonight I'm going to read you the librarian from the Black Lagoon, which is another funny story. It's not meant to be scary. That's funny. So good night. Have a great night. We'll talk tomorrow about what your responsibility is in kindergarten. Hmm. Um, and then uh, we'll do a little, little farewell on Friday. Um, I have decided that I'm going to put up a video once a week, just in case you want to hear my voice. <laughs> so I'm going to put up a video once a week um, during the summertime. Um, I may be teaching summer school, so some of the things on the channel may be geared toward older kids. So whichever, have a great night. I will talk to you tomorrow about something else elementary school related. Good night.